Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Soil vs. Hydroponic. Can you taste the difference? Today, I have one of my favorite vegetable, leafy green. These are romaine. So, um, let's go outside and uh, pick the, the leaves and then we'll come back and uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it and then we'll try it out. Okay, here are my romaine lettuce and we are going to pick the one in soil first and then we'll go to the hydro. So here, these beautiful romaine and here are some more. So I'm going to find the largest leaves around this size here. This is a good one here. So we'll pick a few. Beautiful romaine. So I'll just move it out here so I can pick it easily. And pick one more. Maybe the inner leaf just, just in case. These are the younger, nicer ones. So I'll put it right here. That is my soil. So let's go to the hydroponic ones and pick a few. Okay, here are the hydroponic lettuce. And believe it or not, the romaine over there that we just picked, they are actually the same plants or the same seedling sets that I grew in those containers. And then I moved them uh, over here. So that's how I got these. So they're basically the exact same age. And so those are just some of the baby ones when they were smaller. I took some and put them in here. And as you can see, I already harvested a few. So these are just amazing lettuce. And when you grow them in hydro, they just grow so much faster and bigger. So here, look at, look at this. This is the soil one. Um, I guess maybe it could be because of the containers. But the, the soil I use over there are just amazing soil. They have nice worm compost and all that stuff. So the great quality soil. So anyway, we'll just pick um, a few leaves here. And there's a huge difference because the size. And I, I love these romaine. And fresh is the best way to use it. Look at the size difference. So here. It's a hydro and there's my soil one there. Let's pick another one. And these were grown outside this entire time. Um, romaine can take pretty cold temperature. So uh, if, it, if weather drops you know, into the 50s and stuff like that, they're fine. Uh, sometimes, I think a few days uh, when they were here, it dropped to the, the mid 40s degrees Fahrenheit and they're they're just grown just fine so um, there we have it let's go take this inside and try them out okay here's a closer look at the lettuce this is the soil lettuce there's a label there and this is the hydroponic lettuce and you can notice there's a huge difference so the hydroponic lettuce uh, is greener darker green larger and uh, more wrinkly and this is here's the soil and that's the hydroponic and you can see all the leaves are about the same so they're like nice and big and the soil one that i grew in those pots they're the same age um usually if i grow them in the raised bed they're they're slightly bigger but um I didn't have any room in the raised bed at the time, so I, I left them in those pots. So maybe that could be a factor that they're smaller. Okay, so uh, let's try them out. Okay, here we are. Soil versus hydroponic romaine. So here is the soil one. It's a little bit smaller. And as I mentioned, it could be because of the container size. Uh, but they're exactly the same age. I grew a bunch of, uh, of uh, seeds in those pots and then I, I dug out a few um, and I placed them into the hydroponic setup outside. And that's how uh, we got these hydroponic lettuce. So let's give them a sniff test.
got to crack them open to sniff them. Romaine uh, is very difficult to tell. Uh, there's a difference in the smell because it doesn't have that enough of a strong smell to know. Yeah, no difference. <laughs> Okay, so there, there's not much of a difference to the smell, but you notice there's a difference in size. Of course, hydroponic always grows humongous lettuce, and, um, and they're always really nice and crunchy, I guess, because every time I harvest them, uh, I just go pick them and then eat them right away, so that's probably the reason. Okay, so uh, also, many times uh, in, in the grocery stores, you may uh, not know that the lettuce you're buying is hydroponic. Um, I don't think it's on the label. Sometimes you can buy those um, butterhead letters or some, something like that. It comes in this little dome package and it has all the roots still, still there. Uh, that one is definitely um, hydroponic lettuce. And they're actually pretty expensive. So you, you would expect, you know, uh, hydroponic to be cheaper, but they're really not. Okay, so um, next time you go, just check it out. Okay, let's try the soil one first. Hmm, very good flavor. It does have a, a green flavor to it, a slight sweetness to it. Okay, so I guess it tastes exactly what romaine should taste like. Here's the uh, hydroponic one. This one is... Um, tastes fresher but this one has a, a stronger kind of a little bit earthy flavor hmm. yeah there is a, a bit of a difference in the flavor This one tastes more watery, the hydroponic one. The flavor in this is better. But for those that don't like green taste, <laughs> this one's for you right here. Yep, there is definitely a difference in flavor. The soil one seems to have a, a, a nicer sweetness to it and also a, a stronger flavor, more greenish flavor. and. Um, there's a little earthy tone to it. And when I mean earthy tone, it's like, like a soil taste. Um, like if you eat beets and stuff like that, you know, it, it has that earthiness to it. Very slight earthiness, but the flavor is excellent. So yes, definitely in this instance, I like the, the, the soil one more. Yep. It has a, to me, more of a, like a better flavor overall. It's just it have that nice, um, almost, I would say sweetness really, but not really. <laughs> it's just, just that lettuce taste. But um, yes, so between the two, I think I prefer the soil one, but growing, growing them, um, I think I prefer growing them in hydroponic because as you can see, the system that I have outside, I haven't touched it. I, I made the system, fill it up with water, add nutrients, mix it all up and all that stuff, put the plants in and just wait. I mean, nothing else you have to do. And um, around 30 days or so, then you have lettuce this, this size. And then if you keep picking, they keep growing back. So you have lettuce for like maybe another month after 30 days. So just keep picking and picking and picking. 
especially in the cool months, they'll keep producing uh, more leaves. Uh, in the warmer months, they, they bolt really fast. And in the soil one, I do have to water it uh, pretty often because it's in a little container. Uh, even in the raised bed too, I have to water them pretty often because the raised bed dries up and, and then, you know, you just have to do a little bit more work. But um, I guess you do have to work for the, the better flavor. So anyway, I'm not uh, biased towards any method. I would not give up soil growing method for anything. That's my go-to and I, I love growing stuff in soil. But uh, hydroponic is an option. Uh, it allows me to grow inside, uh, even outside, and um, in the cold months where you can't grow outside. And uh, very easy. And so um, you also learn a lot too. So anyway guys, that is it for this video. Hydro versus soil um, romaine. They're both excellent. Uh, these are just amazing in lettuce wraps. Oh man, you just pick them right off the plant and they're nice and crunchy. Wrap them in the, you know, those chicken and stuff like that. It's amazing, guys. So grow romaine. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.